Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing alleluia. Shout with gladness, dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord and play for Him on glad tambourines and let your trumpets sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord, let the song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my worries, in my thoughts, in my head, what I fail to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Zechariah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, there shall yet come peoples, the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of one city shall approach those of another, and say, come, let us go to implore the favor of the Lord, and I too will go to seek the Lord. Many peoples and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to implore the favor of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, in those days, 10 men of every nationality speaking different tongues shall take hold. Yes, take hold of every Jew by the edge of his garment and say, let us go with you for we have heard that God is with you. The word of the, the, word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God is with us. On the holy mountain is a city cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are told glorious things, O city of God. God, God is with us. us. Babylon and Egypt I will count among those who know you. 
Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. These will be her children, and Zion shall be called mother for all, shall be her children. God is with us. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, These are her children, and while they dance, they will sing, In you all find their home. God is with us. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Son of Man came to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Alleluia. The Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to Luke. You, Lord. Luke. As the time drew near for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely took the road for Jerusalem and sent messages ahead of him. These set out, and they went into a Samaritan village to make preparations for him, but the people would not receive him because he was making for Jerusalem. Seeing this, the disciples, James and John said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to burn them up? But he turned and rebuked them, and they went off to another village. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Welcome to this Mass, the worst hour to celebrate Mass. This hour, 3 p.m., 3.30 p.m. after lunch. But at the same time, probably most blessed hour because our Lord Jesus Christ also died around this hour. So privileged to be able to celebrate the Holy Eucharist together with you, the pilgrims from many different places in the world and with my brother priests, the same only priesthood of Jesus Christ, our high priest. We have three wonderful priests from Poland, one English father from the United States, and another two experienced priests, one from Ohio, United States. And we have one group from uh, Hong Kong, friends and members of Renu Christi, and really wonderful to be able to share the same bread of Jesus Christ, the Son of Man, Son of Mary, Son of the Most High. And we are called to be his children in Jesus Christ by the baptism, although we are unworthy to be called and be really his children, but out of his free gift, immense love of Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the same love cannot be contained only in the Trinity, had to wait until Virgin Mary could say yes. And that yes brought invisible God among us visibly so that we can hear his words and touch his body. And even in the mass, we can receive his body and blood in our own body. In today's gospel, we see Christ resolutely going to Jerusalem. And as we have heard yesterday and other days, there are many enemies and other people who are so indifferent to Christ's mission and his identity. But Christ is not distracted by them. So easy for us also in our own daily lives, our Christian life, spiritual life, 
so easily distracted by imperfect people around us, irrelevant circumstances that just happen. And we cannot control or prevent or train ourselves to be tough, to be able to go triumphant in spite of those adversities. But Jesus Christ didn't come here to fix problems or respond to every single accusations, but he was resolute to go to Jerusalem to fulfill God's will. His mission wasn't to answer enemies' questions, convince them of God's plan, neither by words or even nor by deeds, but to fulfill the Father's will out of love for him, out of love for us. That is, I think, the spirituality or inner attitude of all of us Christians in pilgrim path here on earth. So easily, even speaking for myself, being priest almost 20 years now, easily distracted by different people, my own brothers. Again, imperfections, countless imperfections in the world, as if my mission is to answer to them. So I confirm myself and invite you, together with our mother Mary, not be distracted by enemies or adversities, many different problems or challenges of life, by its own nature of life, there has to be these kind of challenges and incomprehensions that all, all also Jesus Christ had to face. But in spite of being distracted, confirm, reaffirm, and go deeper into the mission by which we are here to get to know Christ, love him, imitate him, and transmit his love in this world, independent of our life situation, according to our state of life. When disease comes to us, we accept that how we receive those diseases, we can proclaim gospel value. When worldly success comes to us, we can also handle them, accept them, glorify God, by sharing the benefits with other people, especially those unprivileged. If we have to face enemies, indirectly direct enemies of our faith, even our physical life, in social life, in terms of economy, in terms of business, in terms of schooling and bringing up children, so many problems we need to help to resolve but many times we feel ourselves so limited. In those situations, we go to Christ. We go to Mary and learn from them, like Our Lady of Fatima, being able to go to three little pastors, shepherds, had to go through a certain path each month, preparing them. Not everything in one encounter, but almost like a little pilgrimage six months of pilgrimage, and even after the operation ended, more pilgrimage with us so that we can also say yes resolutely to go to Jerusalem, spiritual Jerusalem in heaven eventually, but every day we can also face God's will with that simplicity and open heart. So our life with its own uniqueness, Nobody can substitute our life, that I or only I, only we can face that life, but have that life with Christian spirit, with gospel spirit. That way we can be truly the children of God who loves us so much. Amen.
my heart, O oh Lord, take my hopes and dreams. Take my mind with all its plans and schemes. Give me nothing more than your love and grace. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted to God, to Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, to the praise of the Lord of His name, from whom the Lord will choose. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid upon, open, open before us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state by his suffering, canceled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way of eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy. Holy. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom and the power, power and the glory are yours, and now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Oh, 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof, but I say the word, my soul shall be healed. communion and antiphon. Remember your word to your servant, O Lord, by which you have given me hope. This is my comfort when I'm brought low.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore in us, restore us in mind and body, that we may be coerced in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Shining.